Hi, I'm Ben, and welcome to our farm. Our farm is located in the Canadian prairies in what is known as Canada's breadbasket, the province of Saskatchewan. Here, we work hard and do our part to ensure that the beef hitting your kitchen table is of the utmost quality and that the animals we produce are well cared for every step of the way. The story on our farm begins when that first seed touches the ground and ends with the sale of market-ready cattle. Our operation might not be much to look at, but it's living proof that you don't have to be fancy to be fully functional. And through these series of videos, I'm going to take you through and show you exactly what we do, but more importantly, I'm going to show you exactly why we do it. So let's check it out. When I first envisioned this video series, it was initially proposed as a way to give insight about my life here on the farm to my friends and family, both near and further abroad. However, since starting this series, it has become obvious that this is a great way to offer a unique perspective on farming that differs from some of the larger YouTubers out there. We own a relatively small land base for our area at about 800 acres, although we do lease a quarter section of grain land from relatives and rent hundreds more acres of pasture land for summer grazing. Our cow herd is right around the provincial average for size, but the farm also boasts backgrounding and feedlot operations. For the last generation or so, our farm's unofficial focus has been adding value without incurring dramatic risk. To explain this in better detail, it's important to understand the way the mainstream industry is set up here in Saskatchewan. The first type of operation you'll commonly encounter is what's called a cow-calf operation. This type of farm is responsible for the breeding and keeping of mature cows who typically calve in very early to late spring and most often graze pasture while raising their calves all summer. Most calves are then sold when they reach a weight of between 400 to 800 pounds in the fall. These farms typically feed rough forage such as hay or silage to their cows during the winter and their main focus is to maintain cows at a healthy weight in their breeding cycle and to achieve an acceptable rate of growth in their calves before they're sold. After they've been weaned from their mothers at the cow-calf operation and sold privately or at auction, the steer calves and any heifer calves that weren't kept for replacement breeding stock by the cow-calf operation will then be placed into what is known as a backgrounding lot. This type of operation has a goal of maximizing frame growth in the calves to prepare them for the feedlot phase. In the backgrounding stage, the calves will grow at a rate higher than on a cow-calf operation through good quality roughages, but are not fed the highly concentrated diets one might see in a feedlot ration. By doing this, the calves are able to grow their frames while still on cheaper feeds and allow for greater feed efficiency during the feedlot phase. After an animal has been sufficiently backgrounded and weighs between 900 to 1,000 pounds, they are then placed in a commercial feedlot. From here on out, it's go time. The feedlot operators incrementally increase the ratio of concentrate to forages in their daily feed rations. Concentrates are exactly what they sound like, highly nutritious feeds such as grains, meals, or other potent feeds that greatly enhance the growth potential of the cattle. Forages, on the other hand, are less impactful on growth and consist of silages, hays, and grasses, or straw. Therefore, a more concentrated ration, along with the fact that these animals now have fully developed frames, means that this stage adds a lot of meat and towards the end fat and marbling to finish off an animal. A heifer is typically ready to market around 1,450 pounds, and a steer of this size is about 1,500 to 1,550 pounds, but it can vary depending on their size and conformation. Now, what our farm does is combine these operations on a small scale, where one enterprise works in conjunction with another. Where one type of operation may be making money while the other is losing, now owning both enterprises means that the profit is averaged making the profit margins more predictable. The same applies to cattle prices between the background lot and the feed lot, and grain prices between the grain farm and the feed lot, and so on and so on. As an added bonus, there are also other major savings to be had when owning a vertically integrated operation. For one, there are no marketing costs between the operations. Between selling commissions, brand inspections, checkoffs, and sales insurance, it costs us over $34 per head to market our animals once they're ready for market. Being able to save those marketing costs between the cow-calf operation and the backgrounding lot, and the backgrounding lot and a feed lot, means direct savings on a very tight bottom line. 
In addition to that, there are also many savings in the condition of the cattle. For example, being familiar with their pens, not having to adjust to new surroundings, and not having to be extensively handled dramatically reduces the stresses involved with the entry into a new operation. On the other hand, getting foreign cattle accustomed to a new operation can cost weeks worth of growth and contribute to greatly enhanced vulnerability to illnesses due to the stresses involved. Losses due to stress, illness, and potentially death are slashed dramatically in a system like ours, where the animals are simply put into the next pen over, get the same type of feed and the same type of feeding routine, and live in the same type of surrounding environments. In most cases, almost all vulnerability is avoided as the cattle advance into the next stage of feeding. So that's pretty much it. We realize that the way we do things on our farm is dramatically different from the way most farmers may operate, and we hope that this explains why we do the things that we do. We hope this video is informative to you, and we hope that you join us for the upcoming videos. Because we still farm every day while making these videos, these videos are going to be released sporadically. To ensure you have access to new content, subscribe and click the notification bell to be up to date with all of our video releases. Have a good one, guys.